this subject to me I've been wanting to touch on for a, a while now because I've had an influx of new subscribers or also new YouTubers who have asked me in the past, you know, what's the hardest part of being a YouTuber? And like I said in my reading my hate comments video, the hardest part of being a YouTuber is having people who are just downright assholes coming on your channel and talking shit about you. And I know I preach positivity here on my channel and I stand by that 100%, but I also want you guys to learn to defend yourself when you need to. I am someone who believes in giving people a taste of their own medicine. I also believe in treating people the way they treat you. But I also want to emphasize to you guys that even though you are someone who tries to preach positivity and tries to practice positivity, that does not mean that you should not defend yourself against these people. Because the second these people see that you're not going to fight back against them and against their bullshit, they will continue to make your life a living hell until you finally grow balls and make it stop. So hopefully this video is useful to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, subscribe and like the video. If you have any requests about any other topics maybe you want to hear me talk about or whatever, leave those all down below. But I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. All right, so I just wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not gonna do like an intricate makeup look by any means. I'm gonna do my everyday makeup look just because I literally have no plans for today, but I do wanna do some shopping. So I just wanna get dolled up just a tad, just a little bit, but, but I also wanna just chit chat with you guys about something that I think I need to address. So basically what I wanna talk to you guys about is the fact that yes, on my channel here, I do preach positivity, but a lot of people are confused about one thing. By the way, just priming my face with my Clinique Super Primer and do my foundation, setting my foundation with my powders. You know the drill, guys. You've seen it so many times. People like to use the fact that I like to preach positivity here on my channel against me when it comes to them treating me like shit in my comment sections. People will say some like really nasty shit and then get mad at me when I react back to them. Clearly these people have never heard of cause and effect. Yes, I will preach positivity to the day I die, but if you come at me like that and try to be nasty as fuck and hurt my feelings, what makes you think that you're gonna come onto my channel and be nasty as fuck to me and get away with it unscathed? And quite frankly, I don't give a shit if you talk about me. Like, it doesn't faze me in the slightest. But when you bring up my family, if you bring up my dogs, like, yes, even my fucking dogs, girl, you are opening up a can of worms you should have never even touched. If you are a small YouTuber and you are somebody who maybe hasn't started their channel yet because you've been too afraid to because of bullshit like this, if there's one thing you need to learn before you start making any videos and uploading anything, you need to learn when and when not to defend yourself. Most of these comments when it comes to like you being ugly or you being fat, those are irrelevant ass comments about you. They mean nothing, you know what I mean? But the second someone comes at you about your family or about your life in general, do not let these people get away with it. And yes, one could say, okay, well that's just taking the high road is not responding back to these people, but I am somebody who for the longest time would let people walk all over me. You know what I mean? Like I would let people say nasty things to me, I would never say anything back because I just didn't give a shit enough to say anything back, but then it came to the point where people would say so much shit to me and make me feel so bad about myself and my family that it would affect me negatively mentally. And I realized that it was getting to me because I wasn't defending myself against these people. They kept doing what they were doing because they know they could get away with it because I would never react to them. But let me tell you something, the minute I started to defend myself, people got a whole nother side of me they never thought they'd ever see. Yes, be a positive person and try to be kind to as many people as you can, but don't ever, ever let someone think that they can get the best of you and get away with it. If you need to put someone in their place, boo-boo, put them in their place and make sure they stay there. Because once you start to let people walk all over you, you will become a floor mat for the rest of your life. If I'm being honest, I have not always been this strong of a person. It took me a very long time to get to this point. I mean, emotionally I was strong, but when it came to defending myself, I was never this blunt. Quite frankly, when people used to bully me, I used to just let it slide because I didn't give a fuck enough about these people to respond back to them, and I knew eventually, in the future, one day, their karma would come back to them tenfold. In a lot of cases, it actually did. However, it got to the point in my life where I was so bullied that it would just affect my everyday life to the point where I would literally literally skip school for an entire day because I didn't want to face people, you know what I mean? Like, it was a terrible thing for me. Until one day, I was like, I should never, ever, ever let anyone affect me this way because it's not good for me, it's not good for my education, and honestly, I have no reason to be afraid of anybody. And that was the day my life changed for the better. There was this girl in middle school named Kirsten, or Kirsten, I don't know what the fuck her name is, I don't remember, she's irrelevant now. But she was always very rude to me, and one day at the bus, actually, I was looking around looking for my best friend at the time and I couldn't find her so I was like searching for her looking for her and I just happened to look in Kirsten's direction 
and this asshole says, what the fuck are you looking at? So I look her dead in her fucking face and say, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, and give her the dirtiest fucking look ever. And she tries to come up to me and tries to intimidate me, and I'm like, I'm not afraid of you. Let's go. And she backed away, and that was it. And then I realized, holy shit, I just got rid of one of my problems. Let's see how the rest of the day goes with everyone else. I was bold as fuck with everybody and not one person messed with me after that. And that was the day I realized I had no reason to be afraid of these fuck ass people because you know what? They were all scared as shit too. They never in their lives thought I would ever come for them the way they did. And I'm so glad my lady balls dropped early in life because you know what? From that day on, I've been the same person I am right now. So to everyone who likes to use my positivity against me, yes, I'm a positive person, and yes, I try to be as positive as possible here in my channel, but the very second you disrespect me is the second that my kindness is no longer something I feel the need to use. And to all of you small YouTubers who are perhaps watching this video, please, if you take anything away from this, please, please, please learn that yes, you should be positive and you should be kind. That that's something that is a given. You should always be positive and kind to everybody. But don't feel the need to be kind and positive to people who treat you like shit. Don't ever feel like you shouldn't defend yourself against bullies just because you preach positivity. I let people get to me for so long and I let them keep me quiet for so long out of being scared. But I thank God I opened my own eyes and I realized at an early age that I don't have to take anyone's shit. The moment you realize that, your life becomes so much better. The very second someone tries to step to you and make you feel like shit about yourself, strike back defend yourself. You absolutely should defend yourself. And here's another thing that I really think people should stop telling their kids. The one thing I was always taught when I was younger was to respect your elders. Now that is something that I do stand by. I do get that. However, I was also told to respect my elders regardless of how they treated me, which I think is bullshit. I don't give a fuck if you're 89, if you're 59, if you're 69, if you're fucking 49. I don't give a fuck what age you are. If you disrespect me, then all that respect goes out the fucking window. Yes, respect your elders, but that doesn't mean that you should respect them if they don't respect you. And I know I may be coming off as rude, but I honestly, I just, I've seen so many people get attacked verbally in their videos, in their comment sections, and they don't defend themselves because they feel like they need to uphold this, like, prim and proper persona. Bull shit. If someone goes for you, defend yourself. You have every right to. You owe nobody an apology. You owe nobody an explanation. Defend yourself when you need to. And the one thing I also want to address is the fact that people seem to think that just because you come back at them for being a bully to you, that automatically makes you a bully. That's not you being a bully, it's you not taking their shit anymore, which they don't like, so they're gonna automatically call a red flag, oh, they're being a bully. No, fuck you. I'm sticking up for myself for once. I am someone who wholeheartedly believes in you treating people the way they treat you. you you will be surprised at how many people get so mad at you for treating them the way they treat you. Because it's only okay if they do it to you, but it's not okay if you give it back to them. I don't live in that world, honey. Alright guys, so if there's one thing, like I said, I want you guys to take away from this, it's to never feel like you cannot defend yourself. I don't give a shit if you're the happiest person on earth. The minute someone comes for you, you have every right to defend yourself and treat them how they treat you. So I'm gonna get off here guys, I have some things to do, but I love you guys so much, thank you so much for watching, leave your comments or requests down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!